Um, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a great position in my life right now, um, being 24 years old and having so many things that have happened in my life and um, so many great things. Um, and now being in the production world and having a movie coming out and having a new shoe coming out and having so many things going on in my life going in the right direction, uh, I couldn't ask for more. I'm humbled. I, I try to stay humble throughout, throughout the day. Um, no matter what I'm doing, I try to represent not just myself, but my family, also my friends that surround me every day. Así de cercano, en plano corto, sin flashes ni micrófonos, LeBron James abría la prensa a las puertas de Akron, su ciudad natal, para presentar sus nuevas zapatillas. Marca.com y la revista NBA acudieron en exclusiva para España a esta charla íntima y personal con la estrella de los Caps, donde abordó algunos de los temas más candentes de su situación actual. I signed a contract in 2006 uh, with an option. Um, and it would have made no sense for me to sign that contract if I didn't want to keep my options open. So um, I, I let you fill in the blanks. I don't let distractions get to me. Um, and me being a leader of the team, if I don't get distracted, then my team won't. So, um, you know, I don't think it would be a problem. For me, I would never accept losing. Um, you know, and me being frustrated about losing got me to the point where I didn't do the media. Um, but I didn't, I won't apologize for not shaking nobody's hand. I, I would not. You know, I realize that, um, you know, you guys' job doesn't begin until ours end. You know, I mean, unless you're a sideline reporter or, You know, you're doing something, you know, during the warm-ups, you guys don't get the, an opportunity to report what's going on until after the game when uh, we're done. So, um, you know, doing in the media is something that I would have definitely done. Como si intentara lavar su imagen ante los medios y aprovechando que se sentía como en casa, King James abrió la veda para que le preguntásemos por lo que fuera. And you guys can, uh, by the way, you guys can ask any question you want to. Any, any question y'all want to, I don't care. That's what I'm here for. You guys haven't seen me in a while. Así que barriendo para casa le preguntamos su opinión sobre Pau Gasol y el esperadísimo partido contra los Lakers del día de Navidad, comentándole que al de San Boy no le gusta perder ni contra su abuela, como nos confesó en nuestro foro marca. Uh, I think Pau Gasol is a great player. Um, you know, he's part of the reason why they brought a, another championship back to LA. Um, and he brings a dynamic that team that a lot of teams doesn't have and that's a guy who can catch the ball in the post and score um, and uh, can attract the double team um, and his mindset about him saying he doesn't want to lose to anybody that's a lot of athletes should have that um, you know that you don't want to lose no matter who it is and you would do whatever it takes to win that that game is so far from the regular season but I understand it's a huge game um, you know being in LA first of all being in LA on Christmas is something I didn't mean didn't want I love to be home you know see the see the snow and everything what I'm kind of used to but my family said other they did they said they defer being home during the snow they would rather be in LA so <laughs> where it's sunshine and everything like that so um we look we're gonna it's gonna be a really good game it's gonna be great for TV it's gonna be great for coverage man but uh um, hopefully at that point we're just playing great basketball and uh, we're gonna use that game to try to help us get better and try to win la llegada de Shaquille O'Neal a Cleveland fue otro de los temas recurrentes en una charla de lo más distendida en la que King James bromeó incluso sobre un posible futuro en el mundo del espectáculo. Entertainment as far as what, like, um, well, yeah, we see, we see. The fact that you get an opportunity to play with one of the greatest basketball players that ever played a game of basketball, that's the fun part for me. You know, I'm humbled by that to be able to line up alongside one of the, like I said, like one of the greatest basketball players ever, the most dominant ever. Um, and to do that every night for 82 regular series games and, and, and in the playoffs, it's going to be great. It was. It was a lot of rumors that we could have landed Shaq at that point also. And um, I think that would have brought a dynamic to our team that could have really helped us. But, um, you know, when it didn't happen, it wasn't like we were, you know, we were still flying. We were still rolling. And we still roll. We roll throughout the whole season. And speaking of entertainment, um, this will be my second part, but I'll ask it first. Little Wayne was in town. Did you, uh, I, I heard that you threw some, a couple of verses down last night. Not true. Not true. Okay. So you and Shaq would you consider, you know, maybe doing a, a follow-up album? No, 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 no way. That's not me. All right, now well, I can rap other people's stuff. Like I can rehearse and do other people's songs, like karaoke. But you would never hear me do my own stuff. I'm. I know what I do best, and that's not what I do.